Hi guys, it is Cami. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do anime lashes again. But I am today I'm focusing on the mapping and showing you guys like how to map it out. What will make it easier for you guys to map out your anime lashes? Let's get started. All right, guys, I've been doing like specialty lashes forever. I've been doing lashes like, you know, and I personally love strip lashes. And my friends, you know, we, we love strip lashes. So a long time ago, uh, one of my friends was like, hey, Cammy, look, I want you to create this lash. I don't want it full. I just want it to look like this type of lash. And she brought in a, a strip lash that she wanted me to recreate. So when she brought in the strip lash, it really helped me with my mapping to see the overall like picture of the mapping because I have the actual strip lash in front of me. So I would use it as my guide. So it helped me throughout my lashing career. And then now I wanna share it with you guys. All right, here we go. All right, so she's all nice and prepped. All right, so here. You guys, this is the best, this is the best way that I can show you guys. And I forgot, you guys, this company is so bomb. Let me know in the comments if you know where I got this. I, I don't, I forgot what company I got this, but you know, um, I, I bought it and I printed this mapping out. It's, it's amazing, guys. All right, so let's talk about it. Do you see this right here is a strip lash and it's from my company, right? And it shows you how, this is like how anime lashes look. This is how, you know, spiky, spaced out lashes actually look, okay? All right, and this is the pair in my company. You can, you need to buy this strip lash. It's called Salad from my plant-based puss collection. You see, Salad, okay? Right, when you buy it, look at this. You can see how it actually looks, right? So it helps me with my mapping. You see this? Dense, dense. This is the spiky dense, spiky dense, spiky dense. See, spiky dense, all that. So the mapping that I would do for this is, look, the, for the spiky area is the, these areas right here, right? Look, 14, because I don't like my outer corners. When you're doing anime lashes, it's more of a, um, a rounded eye, right? It's not a cat eye, it's more rounded. And on, I feel like anime lashes on Asian eyes, we focus on the roundness of it, you know? So it's more natural and not a cat eye. So the outer corner is always gonna be shorter, you know? So for the spikes, you guys, it's 14, 15, 15, 15, 14, 13, and 12. And it's see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 14. Easy, right? And you see in here, in between, it's very wispy, right? It's 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 not dense. It's it's you can see through it, you know. So for the the filler, I use see in between the 14, 15, it would be 12, 13, 13, 12, 11, 10, and nine on the outer corner. Mm -hmm. And that's how we do it. You see that, you guys? And when you buy my strip lash, you can just see, see this, you guys? It's not, it's about, if you're gonna use like, I don't like to use that much big of a difference, you know, to fill it, to, to differentiate the spikes from the filler, okay? So if I'm using 14, I'm gonna use 12. It's like 12, 13, 14. Two, I like to use two links shorter than what my spikes are. And if you look in here, if you look at the strip lash, you're gonna see it's not that much of a difference. It's like about two lengths of a difference. And it's not like super duper short, you know? But it's up to you. I always say lashing is an art form to me. It is, it's really, it's up to you. It's how you like it. And it's how your clients prefer it, you know? Does she want it to look exactly like the strip lash or does she want the spikes to look longer? I think it's uh, artistry to me. So I hope this helps and you do you. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's get started. Guys, 
So let me tell you, let me tell you, everybody and their mama uses 0.05, right? To do like spiky lashes. Me, I don't like 0.05. I think it's too thin. So when I create anime lashes or spiky wispy lashes, all my spikes, see how dense it is? See all the dense area? I like to use 0.07. 0.07 you guys nobody really wants to use 0.07 but i love 0.07 because it makes really good spiky lashes it will show it will make your spiky show it'll make your anime lashes like really stand out you want it to look dark you want it to look dense and look at how dense and dark see it looks right so i'm going to use right 0.07 d curl to create my spikes you guys and for the filler for the see for all these areas in here i'm going to fill it up with 0.05 d curl because i need thinner lashes i need it to look wispy i need it to look very spacey you know so i use two diameters 0.07 for my spiky and 0.05 for my filler okay and they're both d curl these 10 styles are now available in fiber tip, okay? And these are the new styles that I have. Ooh, you guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. So two new styles, eight current styles that I have now in fiber tip, okay? So today I'm gonna use my thin mega volume. Let me show you what fiber tip is, okay? Oh, look at that. You see how it's nitty gritty? You see, you guys? And if you really look close, it's it's called fiber tip, right? So it's nitty gritty. It will pick up any diameter lash. The soft spot is from the tip to the end. Watch this, you guys. So I'm gonna turn it around. Look, there is no gaps, no gaps at all, right? And since the sweet spot is from the tip to the end, it's easier to lash because I tend to like to lash I like tend to like to pick up the lashes. It's faster for me and easier for me right at the tip. But most tweezers that we had in the past, you had to go right in the, to the middle or find the fucking sweet spot. But the sweet spot now, wherever you are comfortable picking up, it's, it's everywhere, okay? So this, you guys, my, only my fiber tip tweezers can you create, can you pick up spiky lashes without fanning it out. And let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so when you're picking up spiky lashes, right? You use my fiber tip tweezer and you're gonna go in without disturbing the lashes, look, and pick up without having it. Oh, you guys, look, you see that? Oh my gosh, you can create wet lashes, spiky lashes with my tweezers and my lashes with ease because it doesn't fan out. Look, you can just now dip it in glue and look at that. Oh, so spiky, right? Ah, let's do it. I'm gonna show you guys the best glue ever. Today I'm gonna use like WTF. All right guys, so let me show you how I apply it. Okay, so I'm gonna pick it up. See, it's nice and still. Dip it. Okay. See, I don't want to fan it out. When I'm doing my spikes, I do not want to fan it out. Okay, and when I put it on, look. Boom, you guys, look. Wow, you see that? It did not fan out, it looks perfect, and that's what I want to create my spikes. No fanning out.
I'm back. Check it out guys. You see, I already did my spikes. You see this? It's, it has the space in between. Right here, here, space in between. I didn't fill it up yet. I wanted to show you how it looks without having it filled in yet. As you can see, I'm gonna show you. See, this helps me map it out. It's just like this. See how it's very nice and dense, my spiky. And it's exactly how that is right there. All right, so I used D curl 0 0.07 and um, I use my thin mega volume tweezer. Woo! All right guys, so it's time, it's time to fill it in. I'm going to fill it in with D curl 0 0.05 now. Okay, so now when I want to fill it in, I'm not, I'm going to do, I'm going to fan it out. I'm going to fan it out really nice and thin, very wispy. Okay, so the way that I fan out, I pick up less lashes. Okay, as you can see, if you look at these strip lashes right here, it's so wispy. You guys, barely anything there, right? So, I know that I'm gonna fan it out like barely nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, how I pick it up. Okay, so when I pick it up, you guys, see, I pick up very little, okay? Like that, look, see? Oh my God, my tweezers, let me show you. Look at that, you guys, look at how wispy. You see, I can like, with my fiber tip tweezers, I can go in, look, spread them out, right? I don't even need to pinch them. I just go in, look, and they're very wispy. See that? So I'm gonna go in. You pick up less. The secret to making wispy is picking up less, okay? So I'm gonna go in, dip it, put it in the groove, okay? Look at that. See that, guys? So wispy. Look at my like WTF glue, you guys. Look at that. Okay, and we're gonna put it in. Okay, you see how wispy? You, look at how wispy, guys. Look at that, and that's what you want to fill in between. I'm done with her anime spiky set. Look at how beautiful, you guys. On this side, I already used my sealant to make it more narrow at the tip so it can look like anime lashes, right? On this side, I haven't done it yet. I just wanted to show you how it looks, okay? So after you're done with your anime lashes, what you're gonna do is you are going to use my new sealant. Make sure that you watch my other videos, you guys. So my sealant right here is what keeps, is what's gonna create that spike. It's gonna narrow out the spikes. It's gonna like, look, see, when you put it on, it's gonna like make the spikies look like this, right? Cause it's gonna be wet at the tip. It narrows it out. You don't wanna put it at the base. You want the base to be wide and thick, right? But you want the tips to narrow out. So I'm gonna use this brush, you guys. I have three style brushes in the sealant, but I want to use this brush because it's small and I'm using a black sealant, okay, to make the lashes even darker, okay? So get my sealant and I'm gonna use my tweezer, okay, to help me. I'm gonna go in, see this, my spike, I'm gonna go in and put it at the tip. Just at the tip, mm-hmm. See, I'm gonna use my tweezer to narrow it in for me. And apply it just at the tip. Mm -hmm. 
Boom. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And um, let's talk about the sealant, you guys. So the sealant, oh my gosh, after you're done with the set, you're gonna seal it up, you're gonna make the spiky narrow, and you're gonna recommend my sealant, okay, to your clients to take home, okay? They can take it home so they can coat, you know, and make sure that you watch the video. This is a sealant and coating, okay? So it coats the base where the glue is applied so that no oil, makeup, any, um, uh, water, you know, if they're swimming, they're sweating, they use a lot of ointments and creams or they're naturally oily, it will coat the glue area so that it will, you know, all the oil, creams, all that, it doesn't penetrate on the glue and it will make your lashes last longer, trust me. So this not only protects your adhesive, okay, but it also makes spiky lashes. And what's great about it is your clients, you do this and then your clients can go, go home and they can wash their lashes, brush it out, and after they brush it out, they can seal their lashes and make it look spiky, you know? Because you cannot use any products like this, especially glue, to glue the tips together because how are you going to brush it out or wash it out? So the sealant is the best. It can keep their lashes upright all day and they can go home at night, wash it off, and then start again tomorrow, okay? Wow, you guys, I cannot wait until she opens her eyes. Oh. Okay guys, oh my gosh, I can't wait, look. Okay, open your eyes, open your eyes. Oh, you guys, look at how spiky her lashes are. Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. And my sealant helped close up the lashes, see that? And it stays like this the whole day. Look at that, it's not going anywhere, you guys. It stays like this the whole day and it looks spiky. Oh, gorgeous, oh my God, yes! All right guys, make sure Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube and also follow the rest of my social media, you guys. Follow my TikTok, Reels, all of it. It's all the same, Cami Nguyen, LLC. And I am going to see you guys the next time. Bye.